Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are going to talk about Terraform providers. So whenever, wherever you start working with Terraform, the first thing which you'll come across are the providers. So providers basically is an entity or you can say set of code basically that provides you uh, API level abstraction, right? So that might sound a little, little confusing, but I'll, I'll make it simple. So suppose if you want to, I mean, you must, I mean, if you are a developer or if you are a system administrator, you must have worked with some sort of APIs, right? Uh, like uh, in Python, there's a Boto3 library that is used to work with AWS. So using Boto3, you can make calls to the AWS APIs and perform any action you want, right? In the similar way, uh, in Terraform, you use providers to tell Terraform that you are going to work with such and such environment. Like say, if I want to launch my infrastructure in AWS or if I want to launch my infrastructure in Azure. So I would just tell Terraform that this is my provider. AWS is my provider or Azure is my provider or GCP is my provider, right? And then that's it. I don't need to worry about the API level calls which Terraform is going to make to create my infrastructure that is completely abstracted from the end user. I'll simply write my Terraform templates and Terraform will execute the, those for me. So like, like you know that Terraform is declarative, right? So you don't need to worry about how the things are achieved. You just need to tell the end state. So if I tell Terraform that launch an EC2 instance in the AWS cloud or in Azure or in GCP, I don't need to worry about what API calls is Terraform making behind the scene. I don't need to worry about that. That is completely taken care by the provider because I've told Terraform that so-and-so is my provider, right? So as you can see, I'm on uh, the Terraform documentation page. So let's just go through some uh, definition which is given on their page. So Terraform is used to create, manage and update infrastructure resources such as physical machines, VMs, network switches, containers and so-and-so. Provider is basically responsible for understanding API interaction. So like I told you, so you don't need to worry about what calls are being made because Terraform is doing that for you, right? So there are a bunch of providers. If you go down, so list of providers, as you can see, and you can see there are so many of providers, AWS, Azure, Aviatrix, Heroku. I mean, that's too much is there, right? So since we are going to work with AWS, let's just click AWS and see what's there. So in order to use provider, this is the syntax basically, which we are going to use. So you tell that provider is AWS and you tell it the version. So why the version? Because I mean, if you know that AWS and Azure, they keep updating their CLIs, they keep updating their APIs, adding new functionalities, right? So Terraform also has to keep updating its providers to incorporate those features. That is why uh, there are different versions of the providers. So suppose if there's a function, I mean, if you are using old version of Terraform, prob probably there are uh, the providers which you are using the version may not support some of the latest uh, functionalities which are there in uh, current AWS CLI. So that is why the, uh, I mean, you have to specify which version of provider you want to use. So you can see what all versions are available to you over here, right? So this example is saying version 3.0 and region so in inside this provider block you can specify the region as well uh, that is primarily because i mean whenever you launch uh, any ec2 instance or any create any s3 bucket that would be by default created in this particular region unless and until you override this in your i mean when you're running your terraform templates right so by default everything would be uh, launched in ec us east one so, okay, so now what I'll do is I'll go on to my AWS console and show you how you use your pr providers in a live system, right? Let's go. All right, so now I'm on my machine. I am inside my Terraform projects directory. Here I have a file called providers.tf. Let's just get this. So you can see I've specified a simple AWS provider. So before you start using provider, the first thing which you need to do is the Terraform in it. So, I mean, you know, that Terraform binary is like 150 MB. So not everything inside that binary because there's so many providers, there's so much of code, right? So when you uh, specify a provider and do Terraform in it, 
let's do that and i'll tell you what happened so what basically hashicorp is doing or what basically terraform is doing not hashicorp is basically going into the terraform registry and downloading all the code for this particular provider for aws provider so that after this i'll be able to basically create any instance any resource in the aws cloud right so i mean i'll show you what, what i mean so you can see when i did terraform in it it has started installing something something right you can see the version 3.0 so it's basically downloading that that particular code or particular libraries which i'll be using in my terraform templates so every time you specify a new provider you need to do a terraform in it unless until and unless you won't be able to use that so i'll show you that also so it's going to take some time so i'm going to pause the video and come back when this is finished all right so it took a couple of minutes and you can see that it has successfully initialized so all the code all the libraries functions which are there for that particular provider has been downloaded okay moving on so you can actually specify multiple providers inside the same file so if i go into my providers.tf and suppose if i have some infrastructure in say gcp so i can do provider again and gcp uh, i'm not sure if if it's gcp for google cloud but let's try that so for this all right let me just go to the website and see what's there all right so let's see so for provider is google okay so for project id us central all right so let's just copy this let's get rid of this paste it here and since i don't have anything in i mean in gcp let's just get rid of this and get rid of this as well and we'll leave the region as is now if i want to use this google platform i need to again do terraform in it so you see it's it started downloading the google platform right so it google flow code basically google provider code for me so this is going to take in a minute so i'll just pause the video and come back all right so you see that this is also downloaded now you can start using your google i mean creating your infrastructure in google as well and if you don't specify the version of the provider by default terraform takes the latest version all right one more thing i would tell you before we end this video is let's go to providers.tf suppose i mean i have this one provider for this particular region what if i want to have another region here right so either i can override the region when i'm running my template or i could do one more thing is i can go here provider aws and let's say this is my virginia virginia provider and let's give it an alias virginia and region say us or let's say eu west one all right so now what i've done is i've created another provider and i've created an alias for it right let me just check the syntax for this i'm not sure about the syntax because i used it some time ago so i'll just check the syntax and come back all right so yeah i knew that i was doing something wrong so we don't need to specify this over here so you need to specify the provider aws and i've created an alias for this and this will not be virginia because us us1 is not virginia it's ireland right and someone is pinging me let's not let them bother us all right so now if i want to create any resource so we don't i mean we haven't created any resource yet so i mean you can just take it as it right 
so resource let's say aws underscore ec2 and let's say my ec2 so inside this block if you don't specify anything it will be by default be created in this region in this provider using this provider because this is your default provider but if you want to use this provider what you can do is you can specify provider equals i think it's aws dot ireland i think it takes the name of the alias so i mean we can look over the syntax but this is how you actually do so you can use the provider keyword inside your resource and specify the provider that's actually what i wanted to tell you so you can have multiple providers and you can have resources using different providers all right so yeah this is it for this video guys i just wanted to cover the providers in detail i hope you liked the video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving uh, and yeah thank you for watching